Hi, this is Michael Starr from Steel Panther, and you're watching me being interviewed by a super hot brunette. Thank you. So, hi, Michael. I'm very pleased to have you here again. Welcome to beautiful Balingen. How are you doing? I'm doing really good, actually. I feel totally rested and ready to rock some balls. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and That's not true. I'm really tired, actually. <laughs> we were up all night on the bus it's, it was our well, it was our first night on the bus and mm -hmm. it's a brand new bus so we had to break it in and uh so we stayed up pretty pretty late that's okay it's yeah. a nice bus though yeah it's brand new it's about <laughs> four months old and we oh, all wow. yeah we only use buses that are only four months old oh, okay. it's yes. like a ritual of ours that's cool yeah very luxurious yeah nice. the first time we used a bus that has never been used before the motor blew up Oh. So now we don't use super <laughs> brand new ones. So four months. Yeah, yeah. That's that means they're broken and they're not going to break down. Perfect. Yeah. So uh, let's get to the music. You'll be releasing your new record uh, called Heavy Metal Rules, the 27th of September this year. Yeah. Uh, tell me a bit of the creation process. How can I imagine it to be? Well, it's pretty simple for me. Satchel writes a lot of the music for me uh, and for the band. And so what he'll do is he'll write a, like a demo up a song idea okay. and uh some of his ideas come from us partying on the bus or hanging out okay. we and we think of like subjects that are just funny that we <laughs> start laughing at like oh my yeah. god that's funny and uh and so he'll write a song he'll send it to me and i'll listen to it and then what i do is i take it and mm -hmm. listen to it and then i put my self on it okay you know which is my like my style and my vocal yeah. stuff And then same thing with Six. He'll write all the drum parts and uh, and also use the parts that some of stuff that Satchel used as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we just come together in the studio and record okay. it. That's pretty easy. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, who comes up with uh, the lyrics and stuff? Is it you or who is it? Well, Satchel writes the songs. Ah, okay. So he'll do the music and the lyrics. Okay. And, uh, and then he'll give it to me. I look over the lyrics yeah. and make sure that because he writes, but sometimes his grammar is really bad, so I have to <laughs> I have to fix it for him. And Hello. so, and I also have to change the words around to, to, I don't know, to what I think is like the right thing to do, you know? Because sometimes he gets a little off track, and <laughs> I have to help him a lot. Hello. Usually, if he's on cocaine, he writes the right. His grammar is yeah. better. Yeah. So make sure he is on cocaine. All yeah. Time. Well, not yeah. Sometimes, like some of the songs, like Glory Hole, he yeah. wrote on whiskey. Oh, okay. So that was that was pretty a different cool. Kind of drug, but works yeah, yeah. As well. well, alcohol is a drug. You're right. Yeah, right. definitely. And uh, he writes most of our ballads when he's on heroin. Oh, ah, yeah. okay. Yeah, well, chills him down. Yeah. So um, let's get a bit to the new song. So uh, you released your first single. All I want to do is fuck myself tonight with a really nice video. Do you believe in marriage? In marriage? Yeah. Yeah, I've done it several times. It's nice. great. Yeah, yeah. So it's just, it's really tricky, though, because when you're married, mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons why we wrote Community Property, was yeah. because back in the day, you know, we were all like, uh, fuck, man, we gotta, you have to be straight with the girl you're with. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah. if you're not, then you gotta lie. And when you're already lying about your taxes and other stuff, <laughs> it's hard to remember it's too much. all your yeah. lies. So it's better just to keep it as honest as you can. So yeah. if you let a girl know, look, I really love you, But I just, I l love to fuck. Yeah. And that way they know what the playing field is. That's honest. You know? That's okay. Yeah, it's honest and it's more straightforward. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, I believe in, in marriage. I think it's it's a good institution. And I, I also feel like having kids is really important. Okay. Because the more kids you have, the more chances we have <coughs> of having a heavy metal lead singer out of that crop of yeah, kids. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And um, what led to Lexi's career as a stripper? Well, you know, the the videos are fictitious. He's not really a stripper, <laughs> but he actually has a really good knack for stripping. So okay. when we started doing that scene, he uh, he was a little nervous to be in a G-string. And uh, we tried to get him to do it without his coat on. But he's like, fuck, <laughs> fuck that. I'm wearing a coat. Yeah. And uh, he did it, but he was he did a really great job. Absolutely. You know? he, <coughs> it, it's all right. Smoking uh, weed before the yeah, before no. the interview. One too many raucous parties. How was that? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's when you I came remember, in and yeah, blew yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I know. I remember that. Yeah, one. I remember it too. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> so um, there's another song called "Sneaky Little Bitch." Who is it and why? Well, "Sneaky Little Bitch" is a kind of a broad stroke. It's okay. not really sung about anybody in mm -hmm. it, 
you know, specific? specifically, it's just more of a, uh, I, I guess Steel Panther is giving back to the community with, you know, social awareness. Mm -hmm. So like you need to really know what's going on because girls like to fuck too, you know? Of course. So, but some girls, they're not being honest about it. Like they won't tell you That's because they, they feel bad. They feel like yeah. whores and they're not. They just, girls like to fuck. Mm -hmm. And so do guys. So you have to really like just be aware of that, man. <laughs> Listen to the sneaky little bitch. We'll give you all <laughs> the clues and hot tips on how to know if your, sp your spouse or your girlfriend's cheating on you. <laughs> And what defines man to be gods of pussy? Well, we know that we're not gods. Mm -hmm. We know we're mortal and we're going to die, mm -hmm. you know, some sooner than later. And that's just the way it is. But we're, I, I feel like we're just, and when it comes to our dressing room and our domain, this is our, our spot. So we, <laughs> we, we, uh, I know it's hard to say that we're gods of pussy, but we are. It's quite true. Yeah. <laughs> And um, tell me the story behind the lyrics of I ain't buying what you're selling. Well, the world is full of shit they're trying to sell. Like, for instance, I just signed up for a new T-Mobile Extra Magenta Plus program, which oh, is wow. supposed to give me double the data <laughs> speeds in every country I'm in. However, it doesn't fucking work. What's happened? And I bought what they were selling, and it's not working. So you have to be really careful. Just because somebody advertises Utopia... It usually means it's going to cost you fucking money. <laughs> so be careful. Be careful. Yeah. It's just another social awareness like type thing. But I mean, not to sound like that, but it's important to know that just because someone's telling you, you need to get a job and do this and you can't play heavy metal. Fuck that. Don't do that. If you love heavy metal and you want to have a dream, if you don't live out your dream, then you're never going to be ha happy in life. And that's, important these are wise words it's true though man that think about true. it yeah i will <laughs> i fucking hate that man i remember when i was younger you know the idea was get a job get married get a house mm -hmm. have kids and die I'm like fuck that it's not what bon jovi would do <laughs> bon jovi would fucking <laughs> fuck have kids and <laughs> rock the world yeah sounds good to me too yeah. And um, your release party will be at the Whiskey or Go-Go. Would you say that uh, rock and roll is still alive on the Sunset Strip or rather not? I would say that we have successfully brought back heavy metal. Definitely. And I feel like when we go on a strip, all the heavy metals come, heavy metalers come out of the rocks and they come to the show. But it, it, it should be great. I mean, we obviously we don't play in Hollywood every week anymore. So that weekly group of people that used to come, you know, yeah. I don't know where they're going now, but okay. I don't I don't know. It's hard to say because we're always on the road, so I don't know what's going on in L.A. as much as I know what's going on in Germany. <laughs> in Germany, rock and roll is alive, yeah. I would say. It sure is. And um, can we expect a, a big tour after your uh, CD release? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to tour. We have uh, November, uh, sorry, October, November, December. Mm -hmm. And then we take a short break for the holidays, and then we go straight back out, and we're coming here to uh, do a major tour. Nice. Yeah. Looking forward to yeah, it. It'll be great. And um, finish the sentence. Rock will never die because... Heavy Metal Rules and Steel Panther will never die. Well, Boom. we will die, <laughs> but our legacy will live on. <laughs> Perfect. Michael, then thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure having you here again, and that the last the words are yours. we've ever done. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Quick and dirty. Yeah, quick and dirty. <laughs> well, listen, thanks for uh, watching, and I hope you got some information about Steel Panther. And don't forget to get our new record. It's uh, You can pre-order it right now, and if you pre-order it, you can hear just some clips of it, like 30 seconds of each song, Ooh. which is pretty cool. A lot of people don't know that, but it's true. On iTunes, if you pre-order it, you can listen to the samples of it. And it's pretty cool. You'll enjoy the record. It's a little different for us, but it's a great record. We took a lot of time working on it. And we're really proud of it. And I think you're going to like it. It's a great, it's like, you know, when you get beer and you want to do cocaine, we're like the cocaine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have a beer, you put on some Panther and do cocaine. That trifecta nice. is really cool. So we love you guys. Thank you.